Hi, my name is Marla Love. I'm here at Thanksgiving Point. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm here with my beautiful model. Her name is Naima Love. She's my daughter. I'm here with my beautiful mother, Rocio Mejia, and we're here celebrating Dia de los Muertos. Day of the Dead. It's a holiday where we celebrate our ancestors. And one of the ways that we celebrate is by face painting, as you can see. So I'm going to show you how to do a step-by-step -step process to face paint. The first thing you wanna do is wash your face. Make sure you don't have any oils or, or lotions because that may make your makeup fall. You wanna start off with white face paint and a sponge and a water bottle and you spray the, the paint, you mix it around, get a good consistency. And I like to start in the middle and then bring the face paint around just to maybe about an inch or half an inch to the side of the face. And I round out the eyes. Ladies, for adult makeup, make sure that you do your eye makeup first. Do your eye makeup first. All your mascara and your eyeliner, you wanna put that on extra heavy. So your makeup for adults is a little bit different than for children. I outline the eye, which is going to be the eye socket. I, remember, this is going to be a happy skeleton. You hide your lips, you tell your, your model, but since mine already knows because we've been doing this for so many years, you hide your lips. And you get these corners here. You just wanna round out the eye socket. So traditionally for Day of the Dead, our celebrations last days. So normally people will dress up from the very beginning in the early morning like today and we wear it until the evening hours. You touch up your lipstick, you touch up your makeup, your hair, but pretty much it's an all day event where you get ready. If you have a white setting powder, you can use a white setting powder. I choose not to just because we're running around for Day of the Dead and having fun with our family and it just feels lighter if it's just a, a nice soft um, white paint. The, one of the first things you want to ask your, the child or the, your model is what color they want. And Naima chose gold for today's look. And so I have a gold, a gold um, face paint. So you put, just put a little bit of water and then face paint. And then you just want to round out your eye. I choose not to highlight the eyebrows because Skeletons don't have eyebrows, or at least ours don't. So you want to be careful with children and face paint. I don't do it around the eye because sometimes they do um, scratch their eye and I just prefer for them not to have it so close to their eye. Now, if you're using an eyeshadow base, then you could do it uh, closer to the eye. But with adults, I like to use MAC or any strong uh, pigment, powder pigment. So with the powder pigment, you want to dab some on your makeup brush and then work yourself around the eye. So instead of this motion, you want to dab. Put on your eyelashes prior to doing your, your Day of the Dead makeup. To add a little bit of depth, I'm going to take a little bronze. But it has a little bit of copper in it. And I'm gonna keep the same paintbrush that has pink because it's gonna turn my copper a little bit more pink. And I'm just gonna put it on the eyelid look up and a little bit under the eye and it'll just give it a nice depth the next thing we're going to do is place the gems around the eye what I like to use is a eyelash adhesive because it's more friendly to your skin so please test it out 
to see that it's not going to give you any type of you know um, irritation on your skin so I take the um, little tube and the gem and I just squirt a little bit on there move it around and then I just push it on the skin it doesn't hurt while it's on the skin and it doesn't hurt uh, when you take it off it's very it's very easy to put on and it stays well uh, with children so for the lips uh, you just take a lip liner and you outline your lip you could do a bold red a bold pink take some lipstick and a little bit to add a little sparkle, a little bit of lip gloss. For the next step, we are going to take our black makeup, our face paint and water bottle and a very thin paintbrush and we're going to spray the, the paint, the palette and mix your water with your paint and make sure it's a rounded paintbrush. And I like to start with these lines here because it kind of forms your face. And these lines give the illusion of the smile of the Katrina. For the nose, you want to create a little V shape here in the top, and then round it off in the bottom and fill that in. If you want to bring back down the tone of the of the black, you could take a little bit of blue eyeshadow and just touch it there so it doesn't look so black. You could take a bit of navy blue or a bit of turquoise and it just adds dimension to the, to the black. I think the biggest thing with face painting is to remember that Day of the Dead is a happy celebration. It's a celebration to honor our ancestors. So how do we want to honor our ancestors is with happy thoughts, with thoughts of them, what we used to do with them, what we, what the favorite foods that they ate. And one of the things that we love to do is uh, paint our faces. And these themes on our faces are always happy. So we want to stay away from cobwebs and anything that's going to be gory because that is not Day of the Dead. Happy themes are things for Day of the Dead. So what's traditional in face painting are a lot of curlies, because again, it just softens, it softens the look of the Katrina. So why we paint the Katrina is in early, in, in the early 1800s in Mexico, there was a painter, a lithographer called Jose Guadalupe Posada. And he was someone who captured and created La Catrina. And La Catrina signifies death. And it says that no matter what socioeconomic status you come from, your background, whatever you have on earth, you're not gonna take with you because we all end up six feet under the ground. And to live life to the fullest while you're here with meat and bones, versus with just bones when you're in a box. So that was very a very um, whimsical way, to say the least, of how to view death and how to view life. So Day of the Dead is really important to my, our family. My grandmother, Sofia, she, is, she was from Michoacan. I say is because she's always with us. And especially during these times of Day of the Dead, uh, we feel she's even closer. My mom, Rocio Mejia, passed down these traditions to myself, to my daughters, and it's something we, we celebrate mostly around November 1st and 2nd, but we celebrate it throughout the year because we're always getting ready those other days for Day of the Dead. And it's a continuous celebration at our home. We're collecting items for the altars, for the celebrations, and it's very important for us to continue these celebrations because it's a way to honor our ancestors and the people we love. So enjoy Day of the Dead and face painting. Goodbye.